Hey guys, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can achieve this bubble blower effect in Spark AR. The tutorial is going to have three parts. The first part is actually making the bubble in Photoshop. The second part is creating the sound effect. And the third part is building the patch in Spark AR. Let's get started. So here is the bubble we are going to make. It is colorful. Um, so just grab a new Photoshop document and change the color to, I changed it to blue. And after that, grab the elliptical marquee tool. I use the shift key in order to create a sphere. Change the color of the circle to white. And then go to select, modify, contract. And use one pixel. And once it's ready, use delete or backspace. Create a new layer and then apply edit stroke and then use eight pixels and select the color white. Okay, after that, we're going to stay on this layer, the latest layer, and then we select blur and Gaussian blur. I kind of like to apply eight pixel. I think that looks the best. And then after that, stay on this layer and change the size to 93%. So it's going to make it a little bit contracted and smaller. So here are the images of the bubbles. As you can see, it has some kind of like distraction or distortions on it, color distortions. So we're going to try to um, remake it in our bubble. So we're going to have to, I kind of like to lock all my layers and just add a new layer. And then we're going to add some reflection on it by using brush and just going to use like a soft brush and add white spots on it, which is going to resemble to the reflection of the bubble. And one in the bottom part. And after that, I'm going to add a new layer and uh, just add the colors. So like pink, blue, yellow, and a little bit of green. And you can change, you can change the blend mode of the layer in order to achieve a more natural result. When you save your bubble in Photoshop, make sure you save it as a PNG file with a transparent background. So to get the sound, I came up with this idea, as you can see, and I recorded it with my iPhone as it records it in a format of M4A. And that's exactly the file that Spark AR can handle. And we've arrived to Spark AR where we're going to open a new blank project and then we're going to add the face tracker. As soon as I can find it, there it is. We insert the face tracker and then we're going to add a face mesh. And after that, we're going to add a uh, particle system and we're going to make it a child to the face tracker. Here we go. Now, as you can see, it actually comes out from the nose of the guy. So I've changed the view to front and then I clicked on the emitter so I can reposition it so that it emits the particles from the mouth. Uh, a little bit higher. Play. Yeah, that's that's better. Cool. Okay, after that, we're going to go to the emitter and then we're going to click on material and add the new material. After that, you select the material and then the shader type, you change it to blended and you're going to choose a file as, uh, yeah, as the file for the material. And that's going to be obviously the bubble PNG we've just made in Photoshop. After that, um, you can go over to uh, yeah, just play the video and you can see the bubbles are coming out from his mouth, but they are very tiny. So in this case, we're going to click on the emitter and then uh, you go to the particles down um, under, yes, there. And then you can scale the bubble so it uh, comes out bigger. Okay, 0.2, that's way too big. So I'm going to go with uh, mm, 0. 008. Yeah, that's better. I can live with that. Uh, 
uh, I'm just going to pause the video and then I'm going to change some stuff here. Um, just like... I'm going to change the birth rate, so we're going to have less bubbles. I'm going to change it to 4. Let's check. Okay, that's good. And then I'm going to change the, uh, the speed, because to me it's a little bit too quick. So like 0 0.08. Yeah, good enough. And then... I'm going to change the lifespan so that the bubbles don't die that quickly to four seconds. Four seconds is the new birth uh, lifespan. Uh, okay, that works well. And then you can change the spray angle a little bit so it's going to have a better distribution throughout the space. Okay, that's looking fine. And I just wanted to show you this one. You can also click on the acceleration. And uh, you can kind of play around with, uh, with the numbers in the strength. So for example, if you change the Y, the Z, or the X values, then you're going to have a different distribution or different, um, how can you call it? Yeah, they're just going to fly in a different uh, way if you change it uh, on the different uh, axes. Axes. But for uh, this time, I'm just going to change it back to um, the one I have. So I just want the bubbles to take off and just... Uh, Yeah, so I just want the bubbles to take off and just fly uh, above the head of the suspect, above the person. All right. All right. All right, guys, we are changing views. That's me on the screen now. And we are going to build up the logic because we want these particles to come out from the mouth only when we have it open. So you go to the emitter and then you click on the visibility and you create a patch. And then after that, you drag in the face tracker into the patch editor. Um, just to rearrange it a little bit so we have some more space and then you can drag out uh, the face and then you create mouth open patch and you connect it to the face tracker to the mouth and then you just connect it to the emitter so it's only going to be visible when you open your mouth and after that we want to add uh, the sound of the bubbles um so we're going to have to build up that logic as well you will have to add a speaker here we go and then we have to add uh, the asset and the asset in this case is going to be the bubble sound we're going to link it to the mouth open with a pulse patch and you're going to have to connect the pulse to a patch of single clip controller you're going to have to put the on to the play and then the off to the stop so that it actually stops when you close the mouth and then uh, you will add a single hold on no this is wrong yeah we're going to have to delete this one so we're going to add a uh, patch of the audio player And then you have to connect it to the audio, which you get by clicking on speaker and then creating a patch to the audio. Audio, yes, here we go. And then we have to add the clip and that will be done by adding the bubble, just dragging it onto the patch editor and then connecting it to the audio player. And I hope you like the end result and you like this tutorial. Um, you know, you can always give it a like or subscribe and I see you the next time.